I just uh, got a little envelope in the mail, something I purchased off of eBay, and I got these for a really good deal, almost spot price. Um, it was $23 for the two plus $6.78. But it was really only $3.78 for shipping and handling. So it came out to right around $27. Divide that by the two piece dollars, which are actually in pretty good condition. It came out $13.50 with shipping and handling for one. And today's silver spot price is at $17.22. So if I were just to scrap one of these for just the silver, it would be $13.32. And remind you, that's with the shipping, so I actually paid well under spot for these. And they're actually in uh, better condition than I thought they were going to be in. They looked a little chunked up on uh, the website, but they're actually really nice. So there are still good deals on eBay. You just gotta find them. And today is the 19th of May 2018. So they're out there. What's up everybody? Going through a box of pennies and I got the usual 80s, 70s, 60s, 59s, blah 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 and wheat pennies. So far I got a 1951 Denver, a 55 Denver, a 56 Denver, a 44 Philly, a 57 Denver, and I just got this one. 53 Denver. So there's actually a decent amount of coppers. Well, coppers, yes, but wheat pennies also in this box. There's five, six there, and I'm about one third of the way through the box. So it's, it keeps going this way. I'll have about 20 by the end. So I'm going to get back at it. My piles are getting a little bit bigger. I want to say I'm about halfway done the box. And I got a couple more Wheaties. I believe I stopped at 44 Philly, so we go with a 57 Philly, 53 Denver, 56 Denver, 42 Philly, and a 53 Philly, which is pretty slicked out. But uh, there's a lot of early uh, coppers in here. That's a, a lot of the 60s and 59s. For only being halfway done the box, so there might be some um, some good old coins in here. Maybe another Indian head. We'll see. All right, everybody, a quick little check-in. I think I said about 18 to 20 wheats by the end of the box. If we were carrying on the same pace as the first about 10 rolls, so we got some rolls left. And as you can see. The 1980s pile is about average, but the 1970s pile is well above average and a little bit higher than normal. Um, there is a lot of a lot of coppers in here. Same with the 60s and 59s. That's definitely above average. Everything else is about the same, and wheats are also a little bit above average. But I think I left off right around 1958 Denver. We got five more, so 52 Denver, 37, which is my lowest one so far, 55 Denver, 45 Philly, and another 45 Philly. So we are doing pretty good. All right, everybody, I am almost done. I got two, four, six, seven and a half rolls left. I did get some more wheat, but check this out. It's a little slicked. Well... It's pretty decently slicked. Well, it's not that bad. Ready? Boom! 1912. That's the earliest wheat penny I've ever got. I've gotten Indians, but 1912 is my earliest wheat. And since you're here, I'll just show you. We got a 1944 Philly and a 1946 Denver. But also getting some really nice coins. Still tons and tons of coppers. Alright guys, here is the wrap up. You can see my 1980s. It's uh, about average. My 1970 pile is above average. There's probably double than what there normally is. Same with the 1960s and 59s. I'll be going through them with the jewelers loop. For the AUBU coins, um... They were kind of, some of them were borderline, but I picked them out anyway. A lot of the 1970s in this box were very close, but I just threw them in the 1970s pile. 
But as you can see there, some pretty nice ones. I got four 2009s, but they're the nicer of the ones I found. Over here you can see the woody. Got the wood grain effect going on. And then this 1982 is actually in good condition. And sorry about the color. There we go, it's a little bit better, but it's just a little off sides. For foreigns, I got a 2001, which is completely out of place. The rest is in order for some odd reason. 71, 73, 77, 87, 1990, 92, 93, 94, and 2001. And they're kind of mixed foreigns. I have my 1970s, which I'll be going through with the George Loop. Same with the 1960s, and I'm kind of looking for the first time through my camera just if I see any obvious double dies or repunchment marks. There is a 1970 something in San Francisco mint, 68, and another 68. For wheats, well, I'll do this real quick. These are the 1983s. I'll be weighing them for the 3.1 planchet, which is an error planchet. And it's worth a ton of money if you can find one. For wheats, I actually found another lower date, but I didn't show you after the 1912. So we'll go over these real quick. 51 Denver, Denver, 55 Denver, 56 Denver, 44 Philly, 57 Denver, I meant Philly. 53 Denver, 56 Denver, 42 Philly, 53 Philly, 58 Denver. 52 Denver, 37 Philly, that's the <clears throat> first of the lowest ones. 55 Denver, 45 Philly, 45 Philly, 44 Philly, 46 Denver. The 1912 is the lowest ever that I've got for a Lincoln. And then I found a 1929 Philly, and then a 1951 Philly. Uh, I checked these, and going by my guide, uh, none of these are low mintage or key dates. Um, I have 15 million or less listed, so if there's anything above 15 million, then I don't consider it low uh, mintage, except for one. I think there is one with 17 or 18 million minted, but other than that, everything's 15 million or below. So exactly 20 wheat pennies, tons of coppers. It was a good, good box. I'm going to go over this now with the jeweler's loop and hopefully I find some errors and varieties. Alright, so I went through everything with the jeweler's loop and I did find this 1968S and I looked it up. It's actually a double die. It's WDDO 00 or 001. Let me see if I can't get you guys in there. I took pictures of it that I'll show after this. But on the R, the T, the Y, they're all doubled. That's a little bit better. So you can see it there. And then also under his chin, right there. And then the blobs in the S match doubledieveriety.com. So, a nice double die that I found. Um, I will have pictures of that. You can see them a little bit easier. Alright everybody, that's it for me. Um, it was a great box of pennies. I was very happy with it. I'm going to look more into that 68S double die and see if I can't find anything or any other ones that have been sold or are being sold and get a price range or on it to see if I should send it in or not. Probably not, but I'll definitely keep it. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.